Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Learn with Mnet, where we rise together by learning smarter. What if I told you there's a secret feature inside Google AI Studio, one that lets you control emotion, pacing, and even switch characters, and almost no one is talking about it. I accidentally discovered it through ChatGBT, and it completely changed the way I create AI voiceovers. If you've ever wondered why some AI voices sound flat and others feel alive, like they're truly acting the story, this tutorial is for you. Today, I'm revealing the secret ingredient, voice tags inside Google AI Studio. And to make it easier, I've made a free cheat sheet you can download. So grab a notebook and let's dive in. Section one, what are voice tags? Voice tags are short instructions you insert into your script to control how the voice speaks. They work just like stage directions, telling the AI how to deliver the lines. Here are some examples showing on your screen. Tag one, this adds a brief half second pause. It simply means the AI should pause for half a second before continuing. Tag two, raises the tone to make it sound brighter. Tag three, changes the voice actor. They make your voiceovers sound natural, emotional, and human, not robotic. Section two, why most creators don't know this. Most tutorials stop at the basics, paste to script, pick a voice, hit generate. But when ChatGPT added voice tags in one of my scripts, I tested it and it worked. That discovery opened a whole new creative world. Google hasn't officially released a complete tag list, but the system follows SSML, Speech Synthesis Markup Language, and Google's Cloud TTS API rules. Section three, how to use tags in Google AI Studio. It's simple, just format your script like this. Then paste it into the Google AI Studio editor and click generate. Once upon a time, in a peaceful village, a wise turtle began to speak. Section 4. Tag Breakdown. Quick guide. Here is a tag, what it does, and example. Section 5. Mistakes to avoid. 1. No space after tags. Always add a space after the tag before your dialogue. Two, don't use too many tags back to back. It can confuse the system. Three, check your spacing and spelling. A small typo can break the effect. Four, use voices supported in your account region. Not all names work for everyone. Five, don't forget to test small chunks first to avoid wasting time or tokens. Section six, compare two stories without tags. The lion walked into the village and roared. The children ran. The elder spoke in fear. Everyone hid. Silence followed. This sounds flat and lifeless. With tags, The lion walked into the village and roared. The children ran. The elder spoke in fear. Everyone hid. Silence followed. Now it sounds alive, full of pace, emotion, and drama. Section 7. Where to get voice tags. If you're stuck and don't know what tag to use, ask ChatGPT this. Write a short story using Google AI Studio voice tags. You'll get working examples instantly. Have also made a full video on how to generate speech using Google AI Studio native speech generation. You can watch that later. Link in pinned comment. Section eight, how I found out. Honestly, I was creating a story and asked ChatGPT to help with narration. 
To my surprise, it added tags like pause equals and pitch equals right into the script. I tested it in Google AI Studio and it worked perfectly. No YouTube video explained this at the time, so I kept learning and experimenting. Now I'm sharing everything with you. Frequently asked questions. Are these tags official? Not fully, but they're supported and follow known standards. Is it allowed by YouTube or Google? Yes, these are creative formatting tools, not hacks. They're safe. Can I get help writing tags? Yes, ask ChatGPT or use my free cheat sheet PDF. Link in pinned comment. So now you've learned how to use voice tags like a pro, add pitch, emotion, and pauses, and make AI narrators sound more human. Download the free voice tag cheat sheet, link in the pinned comment. Try it inside Google AI Studio. Drop your questions in the comments, I'll reply. If this video helped, like, share, and subscribe to learn with Mnet. And remember, we rise together when we give more. See you in the next one.